morning folks we are back welcome back to the channel this is going to be an epic day today we are back long overdue with sports to sickness a look at these wonderful bikes we have got here today okay so we've got an epic ride we're going to ride over into derbyshire and meet up with god knows how many other bikes it's going to be sports to overload so stay with us and we'll be seeing you on the bikes soon <coughs> Welcome back folks and uh, we've got a few miles down the road now, uh, not too far, actually far from my hometown, hitting the traffic, it's Sunday, the weather is absolutely gorgeous and we've got a good team of uh, is it 10 bikes uh, but we're meeting up with hopefully quite a lot more over on the other side of Derbyshire so we're going to ride through a couple of back roads now over the tops, the hayfield, you guys have seen that before if you follow the channel. Some epic scenery but it's going to be better now with all these bikes today so uh, stay tuned so today's ride is that secret even we don't know where we're going it's called the top secret secret ride of secret rides or something like that <laughs> i don't even know what the ride's called uh, but we're meeting up with the rest of uh sports of sickness from three regions so hence the title of the uh, day is going to be three regions reach their peak obviously because we're all going at the Peak District so uh, it's going to be a great day a little bit cooler than it was yesterday yesterday was an absolute scorcher but that's just ideal for riding so we've got a few of the uh, usual crowd today and a couple of other riders who don't really join us that often so it's nice to have a varied mix of people here on this ride today so uh, crossing over into the Derbyshire border now at Charlesworth Roads are going to be pretty busy today in places as well with it being such a nice weekend. It's a bank holiday weekend so we get the extra day off as well on Monday. Look at the sound of all them. I'll tell you one good thing as well wearing the uh, B1 bombard helmet is you do get that, that sound factor back. You know when I'm wearing the showy quite a quiet helmet knocks a lot of the sound out so you really are riding with it with this helmet and you feel all the noise you smell all the smells I absolutely love it the bobhead hoodie on underneath my old faithful leather jacket the great thing I love about this jacket is it's, you can zip the sleeves off it and turn it into a cup but it's you know I've been wearing it for a damn long time so I think it's time for a change um, and obviously what I did on the last ride as well we've got the bobhead musket gloves we have cut the fingers off um, because as you guys know I am more of a fingerless type of guy That's how you ride that road. 
<laughs> so I'm just coming out of Peak Forest now and as usual we've got the annoying weekend traffic let's up on Manchester Benz it's awkward to overtake on here especially when you've got another nine bikes behind you look at the, just a line of traffic ridiculous down to the old historic village of Eam, the village of the plague and again I have covered this on a couple of rides in the back catalogue um, so past Eam is Stony Middleton so we're just going to park up at Lover's Leap Cafe for five minutes wait for Urken and then get on to the beat point so a quick brief we've just stopped off at Stony Middleton we've got uh, one straggler, Mr. Stuart Goff, has decided to join us. I think he'll be on the Benelli today. So we're just waiting for him. He's about five minutes away. Beautiful day today, though. What an absolute... It's perfect for riding. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Surely, surely, surely that's not... Who are these stragglers? Hang on a minute. It's Howard and Erk, the fucking Turk. With his scuds in. How are we doing, sir? <laughs> Howard's had a shave. Yes, I'm brother. The new me. <laughs> Younger version. What happened to the A50? How you doing, bro? How are you doing? Champion, mate, you. Yeah, I broke my fucking thumb then. How are you doing? So that's it now, two more of the crew, just waiting for one more. Uh, how many is that now? Twelve. Twelve. Uh, what, not including Stuart? <laughs> Twelve and a half, yeah. Hello darling. Hello sweetie. So Stony Middleton, quick little uh, history thing of Stony Middleton. So those cliffs, let me just switch the camera on the other view. Those cliffs there, uh, and the cottages down there, it's called it's sort of like Curry Cottage now, but it used to be called Lover's Leap. I have mentioned this before, but if, the, if you're new to the channel, I'll give you the brief history. So Stony Middleton's lovely, beautiful limestone cliffs there, and the cafe, Lover's Leap. You can guess the rest. So the spurned lover at the top of the cliffs apparently um, jumped off and killed herself because she was ditched by her fella. Uh, hence why it's called Lover's Leap, or it was called Lover's Leap Cafe. Anyway, three hours later, while we're still waiting for Stuart, we'll see you guys at the next meet point. So there are some beautiful little back roads here now on the way to Beely, and these roads I've never actually been down. It's sort of the back of Chatsworth House uh, area. There's two or three sort of split off roads around here, but yeah, never been down here. This is a great little road. Just imagine the days when there was one guy just owned that house, one family. And this was all your land. Fantastic. <laughs> as far as the eye could see, this is all your land. So the bottom of here is a little bridge and I guess we do a right and I'm hoping the meet point then is just a couple of miles 
just past there. Beautiful old bridge. Well, this is this is the destination. So, somewhere in the quaint little village of Beely, we are waiting for the rest of the sickness to arrive. Uh, so, for once, we're first to the party. Usually, I'm always fashionably late. That's it folks, ready for the off. Missing the uh, sickness signature. <laughs> Yeah. 
with a recently uh, slightly modified by uh, Limitless bike. Looking well. So we're going back through Chatsworth. Hell of a lot of bikes out today. Not just from our contingent, but scooter boys as well. You can hear this in person, folks. It sounds absolutely fantastic. What a view that is! Bikes as far as the eye can see, that just looks fantastic folks. I don't think we'll be going down by the house, but this still is spectacular. Car parking, five pound. <laughs> like we're going to pay for that. He actually says car parking, not bike parking, so we can get away with that one.
So a great little stop at Chatsworth now and the group's moving on to another, as we don't know because it's a secret location. Look at that beautiful tree there. I'm not into trees but that is a fantastic tree. So back out on the same route we came in, so I'm guessing at a pinch we've got to be heading towards Bakewell. Look at the line of, well I've got to say sporties then, but there's a, a massive mix of all sorts of Harleys here today. But that is a great sight in front folks. Derbyshire really has got some cracking places to ride and okay, might not be mountainous but the peaks, they call it the peaks, but not really that peak as you can see. Uh, we do get some little valleys that we're going to now in a minute, but these rolling fields and little B roads, great just to disappear off them and just lose yourself for a day. Ah, oh, the smell of freshly cut grass. JB. Always one of my favourite little back rows this on the way up to Winnex Pass. Cracking little road, I mean if you only just here on your own or with your mate you can really give it some rip on these bends but because we're in a pack we're just keeping it easy, keep it together but and the road to Edel over there, you probably can't pick that up on the GoPro with the Mam Tours just on the other side of that hill. And again, some of you have seen this before, the beautiful Winnix Pass. Uh, but here it is again in full HD. Music on. So that guys was worth waiting for, that was the epic Winnix Pass with a shitload of uh, 
sportsers and other Harleys from Sports of Sickness on our epic day out. How was that? How, did, how was that? Come on, down in the comments, come on. That was worth waiting for. So past the Devil's Arse, that is actually called the Devil's Arse. There you go, welcome to Peak Cavern, the Devil's Arse. Castleton's busy today. Got a clue who's ringing me on a Sunday. I don't know who's ringing me again now. Oh. So straight up this road, straight to the top, and I guess we will make a little brief stop at the pub. coming along for the ride today folks it's been absolutely fantastic being back with the sickness it's been some great riding great roads and great weather so again if this is the first time you're watching Alcamo please do hit that subscribe button check back in the back catalog plenty for you to watch on there if you like the video please do hit the like button and comment if you dare but on that note folks Alcamo signing out so see you later folks